Sebastian Milton was brutally killed by zombies as the Commonwealth community looked on apathetically during Sunday's episode of The Walking Dead on AMC. The season 11 episode titled A New Deal opened with a sewer standoff as Daryl Dixon, Norman Reedus, and Maggie Ree, Lauren Cohan, faced off against Commonwealth Deputy Governor Lance Hornsby, Josh Hamilton, and his soldiers. Commonwealth Military Commander Mercer, Michael James Shaw, broke it up by ordering everyone to stand down as he was followed by Commonwealth Governor Pamela Milton, Layla Robbins, Carol Pelletier, Melissa McBride, and Megan, Jeffrey Dean Morgan. You heard him. Lower your weapon, Pamela said to Daryl who had a knife at Lance's throat. This is not just about you. I need him alive. Mercer, Daryl said. Not her and not like this, Mercer said. You choosing this piece of s? Daryl asked. If I was, you'd already be down, Mercer replied. Do what you have and gotta do, Daryl said. Carol then stepped in and revealed that she made a deal with Pamela on their behalf. Daryl stepped back from Lance and then grabbed his arm and stabbed him through the hand with his haunting knife. Lance screamed in agony before Daryl pulled out his knife and walked away. Don't worry, hell live, Daryl said as he dropped his bloody knife on the ground. Carol told the group about her deal with Pamela and how they would get supplies, water and weapons for themselves in exchange for giving up Hornsby as a fall guy for Sebastian's wrongdoing. I think the most important thing is that we're together. I don't want to go it alone anymore. I don't trust them. But if you say that this deal gets us back in our homes, with our own rules, then I think it's worth the risk, Maggie said. Lance while in custody was told by Pamela that he was being taken back to the Commonwealth to be put on trial. Seriously? You never seem to have a problem with how I got the job done before, Lance said to deaf ears. Back at the Commonwealth. Pamela told the community that Lance abused his position and promised that justice will be served. She played that perfectly. Hornsby takes the fall, Sebastian Skates, Max Mercer, Margot Bingham, told Eugene Porter, Josh McDermott. Pamela also reminded the community that Founders Day was the next day and it was a time to come together and celebrate what truly makes the Commonwealth great. Daryl gifted Judith her father's old handgun, but she refused to accept it. If I keep that, things go back to how they were, she said. Judith argued they should stay and help the people at Commonwealth. But Daryl told her to stop. Ezekiel, Kari Payton, told Carol that he was staying at Commonwealth in order to make a difference. Pamela worked on her Founders Day and coached Sebastian, Theo Rapolson, on public speaking to prepare him for a leadership role. You were born to lead this place, Pamela told Sebastian as Max listened in. Negan and his wife Annie got a sonogram and learned that her amniotic fluid was a little high. Staying here isn't an option, Annie told him. She said they no longer needed to be there and Negan agreed. Daryl after putting on his motorcycle jacket with blue and white wings on the back asked RJ about Judith's whereabouts. The boy admitted that he wasn't supposed to say and told Daryl that he didn't know her she was. Daryl and Carol went looking for Judith and he admitted that he was struggling with parenting. Max told Eugene that she felt guilty knowing that Sebastian was bad news and Eugene agreed to help her. 
Eugene brought a candied apple to incarcerated Lance to gain information, but he warned them not to tangle with the Miltons. Lance had his two goons kill a bunch of maintenance workers just ahead of the Founders' Day celebration. Gabriel Stokes and Rosita Espinosa found Judith hiding in the church and Daryl talked to the girl who said she needed time alone to figure things out. I don't know what I'm doing. But I'm trying really hard. I wish things were like how you want them to be. That's the way they should be. But they aren't. And I have to keep you safe. I'm gonna hold on to the gun for a while. Till you want it. Or not. But either way, you're stuck with me. We good? Daryl said that we're good, Judith assured him. Max while alone with Sebastian had a drink with him and secretly recorded him ranting about the Commonwealth and the privileges reserved for the elite. The reality is that the poor stay poor so that the rich can do whatever the hell we want. The game is rigged. There are no bootstraps to pull up. Christ, my mom hand picks the lottery winners. And none of it matters, and nothing will ever change. But those people that you think want honesty yeah, they're just too stupid to see it. It's pathetic, Sebastian said while being surreptitiously recorded. Founders Day included a wrestling match that the crowd enjoyed and Pamela introduced Sebastian to say a few words. Sebastian acknowledged that a lot of people didn't think very well of him and promised to earn their trust before inviting everyone to listen to the wise words of his grandfather President Milton, founder of the Commonwealth. Max gave a knowing look to Eugene who started playing the recording of Sebastian saying the Commonwealth is built on buying into bullshit. You be. Sebastian yelled at Max as he started going after her. The crowd grew unruly and started throwing things at Pamela as Mercer told his troops to stand down before they fired into the crowd. Lance from his cell could hear the commotion and got a signal from his goons about the slain maintenance workers turned into zombies being unleashed amid the pandemonium. Daryl looked for Judith amid the mayhem as zombies started chomping on people and Daryl shot a zombie in the head that was menacing her. Judith then asked for the gun and fired away at a zombie. Sebastian grabbed Max and threw her into the arms of a zombie, but Eugene intervened and pushed the zombie back into Sebastian. We need to go, Eugene said as the zombie attacked Sebastian. Help me, help, Sebastian screamed as people looked on without helping before the zombie bit into his throat. Judith then shot the zombie as Sebastian was covered in blood and his words were repeated on the loudspeaker. The Walking Dead will return next week on AMC.